Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, in our maths lesson, we are going to learn a new way and strategy on how to solve division problems the fastest way. Now for our starter activity, work out the answers using the multiplication facts of 3, 4, and 8. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Now, let's reveal the answers. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 72 divided by 8 is 9. Did you get all the correct answers? How did you manage to solve them? Today, on this video, you will learn a new way on how to solve it. Stay tuned and learn from this. Our learning objective is to use regrouping to divide a two digit number by one digit number. Success criteria. I can divide a multiple of 10 by a one digit number. I can use regrouping to divide a two digit number by one digit number. I can make a reasonable estimate for the answer to a calculation and I can write my own division problems and solve it. Regrouping. This is the new strategy that I'm going to introduce to you. So there are many methods to divide a two digit number by one digit. Regrouping is the formal written method and is used to divide a two digit number by one digit number. Let's try this example. We have 76 divided by two is equal to 38. How this happened? So as we all know, we have our dividend, the big number, we put it inside the box, and our divisor, which is the small number, we put it outside the box. Now we have to divide each of the number. So we have 7 divided by 2. The answer is 3. We put it on the top. And there's remainder 1. Then that remainder, we put it here beside the 6. And the 6 now became 16 since 1 is in tens digit. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. The answer is 38. Another example. 65 divided by 5 is equal to 13. Again, 6 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 1. We put the remainder here, it becomes 15. 15 divided by 3 is 3. 90 divided by 5 is 18. Again, 9 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 4. Now we get 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. The answer is 18. And finally, we have 36 divided by 3. So 36, our dividend on the, inside the box, and our divisor. Now, we can directly divide them. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Since there's no remainder, we're not going to write any number in between. Then we have 6 divided by 3, it's 12. It's 2, so the answer now is 12. Same thing happens. 94 divided by 4. 9 divided by 4 is 2. That is already on the top. Okay, so we have remainder 1 because 2 times 4 is 8 only. So there's extra 1 to make it 9. So we put it between. Now we get 14. 14 divided by 4 is 3, and there's remainder 2. We just write it on the top because we don't have any digit to divide anymore. Now it's your turn. Solve the following division problems using regrouping method. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. 3 divided by 6 is 
2 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the answer is 23. Next we got 9 divided by 8 is 1 and we get remainder 1 so we put it in between. Now it becomes 16. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Therefore, the answer is 12. The next is 7 to 6 divided by 4. So we have to divide 7 into by 4. That is just 1 and remainder 3. So we get 36 here. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So the answer is 19. And finally we got 87 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we could just simply put the 2 up there. And 7 divided by 4 is 1. Then we got remainder 3. So the answer is 21 remainder 3. Did you get all the correct answers using the regrouping method? I hope you does because it makes it very easy. Now for last activity, I want you to divide using the regrouping strategy, pause the video, and write your answers. Time is up. 80 divided by 8. 8 by 8 is 1. 8 by 0 is 0. 42 divided by 3. 4 divided by 3 is 1. Then remainder 1 becomes 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 8 divided by 8 is also 1. 4 divided, uh, 6 divided by 4 is 1. Remainder 2. Now we got 24. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And finally, 8, 96 divided by 8. So 9 divided by 8 is 1 carry over 1 or the remainder 1 then we got 16 16 divided by 8 is 2 therefore the answer is 12 thank you so much for watching my video i hope you have learned something new today you may apply it in your maths activities thank you so much enjoy learning till next time always remember be the best you can bye